Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk all about product placement and how to put a product into a photo inside of Photoshop and make it look realistic. Let's go. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to find a product. Um, so we're going to type in red Gatorade, Gatorade, um, and we want to find a PNG. Now, just because we type in the word PNG and we know that a checkered background is a PNG doesn't mean that it's actually going to be a PNG. So let's check this. So that has a checkered background. It says it's a PNG. So I'm going to click this and drag it down to uh, my desktop. And actually, I'm just going to take it from there and put it directly into Photoshop. And if this is correct, we should be able to move this around after we unlock it. And sure enough, there's a background that comes with it. So just because it said it was a PNG doesn't actually mean that it is a PNG. Um, with the new updated version of Photoshop, what you can actually do is just use your magic wand. That's hitting W on the keyboard. And you can go ahead and get rid of the background. Um, oops, cancel first, unlock it. And now that is actually showing the real background of a real PNG. So if I were to move it around or if I added um, another layer, um, then that way it'll show that this is in fact just isolated Gatorade bottle. Okay. Um, but if you're going to have to deal with cutting out the checkered background, um, I would recommend just grabbing um, a white background. And so here's a white background. We're going to we're going to take this red one. So let's take this Gatorade bottle. Oh, look, I already have a version of it there. Um, we're going to take this and we're going to drop this directly into Photoshop. I'll go ahead and hit command zero zoom in. Um, and same thing, we'll use our magic wand and we'll just select that white. We'll unlock it and we'll hit delete. Okay. Um, two different ways to get rid of the blue one is we can hit E for eraser. Make our brush a little bit smaller by hitting left bracket, and we can literally just erase our blue water, uh, blue Gatorade bottle. Or the easier way um, is come here to our marquee tool and literally just clicking and dragging a box around it and hitting delete. Then we hit Command D to deselect that, and then V. Make sure that after you hit V, you have auto select and show transform controls selected. That will make a life a lot easier. So then we can go ahead and move this around. We in fact see that it is just the Gatorade bottle all on its own. And to prove that, we'll go ahead and bring in here a black layer, bring it down, put it below. And sure enough, it is just the Gatorade bottle. Okay, so pretty great, pretty awesome. So now it is time to get the Gatorade bottle from here to our, nope, not that one. Now let's close out of that one. Don't save it. Um, to our image here on the counter. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our image. We're going to drag it up. Click, drag, and hold. Click, hold, drag. Keep holding it, and then bring it back down. So click, hold it. I'm dragging it all the way up. Hold it over this tab. Bring it back down. I'm still holding it, and let go. Um, when you let go, it will magically show up. And bada boom, bada bing, there it is. Now, Gatorade bottles, we don't want them to look um, tiny. We don't want them to look super big because let's be honest, trying to put this next to a camera lens is not going to be realistic. So I know that, excuse me, I know that um, Gatorade bottles are probably a little bit bigger than one of these big lenses here, um, but not too much bigger. And that right there uh, looks that looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna zoom in and and see what's going on with our camera lenses and lighting, so that way we can match up our lighting with our cameras. So first thing we notice, um, we're gonna take a look at this lens right here, is that there's a shadow here, and there is a thicker shadow here. So we're automatically looking at two different light sources. We can see there's a a, a lighter reflection coming off the camera here. And we have that same thing on our Gatorade bottle here. So that works out perfectly. So we're going to create 
um, first our, our soft shadow there. So the first thing we need to do is create a new layer, come over here and hit the plus inside of the square. And then we're going to use our marquee tool, um, but the elliptical marquee tool. And we're going to create um, just an oval. And we're going to hit B for brush and D for default. Those changes our colors to black and white. And we're just going to paint in that. We're going to hit Command D for deselect, V for our move tool. And we're going to go up to Filter, down to Blur, over to Gaussian Blur. And then we're just going to keep an eye, and we're going to eyeball and try and get these shadows to match up perfectly. So right now, that is too much. Um, too much blur on it. So we're going to bring it back. It's not quite enough. Almost there. All right, that's going to be pretty close. Actually, let's take it one more. All right, that right there, that's solid. So with our move tool selected, our move tool, um, we can move our shadow around. Now we can see that, okay, that might be a little too dark in comparison to that one. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna drop the opacity on it. And perfect. That's gonna be pretty great right there. So I'm gonna bring this over and we notice that our shadow is in front of our Gatorade bottle, which we don't want. We want it underneath. So first I'm going to come over here and double click on the words layer two. And I'm going to label that shadow. And layer one, I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to call that Gatorade. Gatorade. I cannot spell that word. Gatorade. Cool. And I'm going to take Gatorade and put it above the shadow, which now puts the shadow underneath. I'm going to take that shadow and move it over just a smidge, just outside that. And hit enter. Perfect. Looks pretty awesome. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I'm going to go through that same process and create a shadow for this next one. New layer, marquee tool. I'm going to create an oval. I'm going to hit B for brush. I don't need to reselect default because it's already there. Go up to filter, down to blur over to Gaussian Blur. And that actually looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to take that, click OK. I'm going to move it up. We're going to label this Shadow Darker, so that way I can differentiate. Bring that down below my Gatorade bottle. And I'm going to move that up. And perfect. So now I have two different shadows. So if I zoom out, um, I can see that I still have the same shadows that those lenses have, um, both the lighter one on the one side and the darker one on the other side. That's looking pretty good, but we're not done. What we want to do is we want to take all three of these layers. How I can select all three is click on the top one, hold down shift, click on the bottom one, or I can click on the bottom one, hold down shift, and click on the top one. And I'm going to hit Command G. Command G puts them into a group. I'm going to double click the group and I'm going to call it Gatorade. Hey, it's the right. Awesome. Okay. Once it's in that group, I am going to duplicate this group. So not on the words, but right next to the words on the layer. I'm going to right click and go down to duplicate group. It's going to ask me what I want to name it. I'm just going to hit OK. It's going to say Gatorade copy. Now I'm going to right click on that layer again, not on the words, but right next to it. Right click, go all the way down to the bottom and merge group. That's going to take my group, merge it together into one single file. And I'm going to hide my Gatorade group there. So now just this one um, layer. So now it's on a single layer. I can move it around versus this one. If I, if I click on Gatorade and I go to move it, it's going to move, but the shadow is not going to go with it. Likewise, if I click on the shadow and I try and move that, it's going to move, but not the rest of everything inside of the group. So if I want to move everything together, actually, let me put that back. I have to select all three of them, and then I can move them as a group. Okay. So we're going to hide that, bring this one back, and we're going to put this Gatorade bottle 
and we're gonna put it we're gonna put it right in here we're gonna put it right next to um I'm gonna put it right next to that lens you know what that might still be a little bit big so I'm gonna shrink that down just a little bit cool all right so with that Gatorade bottle we're gonna add a layer mask so it's this little box looking thing with a circle in it. If I click layer mask, it puts a white square here. If I put another layer mask on it, it adds another white square and that's too many. We don't need that many. So we're gonna click that and we're gonna drag that bound back down to the garbage can. Boom, gone. So then I'm gonna hit uh, B for brush, D for default. Um, and I need black on top. And then I'm gonna start painting away. So actually let's zoom in, Command Plus. And I'm going to paint away everything um, where the lenses are. So I wanna make sure that my lens on the right is visible. I'm gonna take it out too far um, so that way we know exactly where the lens comes down. And then I'm gonna come and I'm gonna change my color. So white is back on top, keyboard shortcut, X. And then with X selected, I'm going to make my brush size smaller. And I'm going to brush this back in here. And I'm going to get as close as I can. And we're going to make this look pretty darn good. So I'm going to spend some time here making this look like it fits perfectly. Now, if I'm ever going up a straight line, I can, since I just clicked here, I can hold down shift and I can click and it will go from point A to point B in a straight line. That's a pretty cool trick um, that I wish I'd known when I was younger, back when I was first starting out. Again, click, boom. So I'm just about done here. Um, just a little bit around this lens. And if I ever go too much, that's okay. I just hit X or change black back on top. And then I can just brush away um, my mistake. And that's, that's what's cool about using a layer mask is that when we use a layer mask and we do goof up, it's not really goofing up and we can just fix it. So I'm gonna zoom back out. Now all of a sudden it looks like that Gatorade bottle is now hiding behind that, uh, behind those camera lenses. But in all reality, I have just cut out a portion of that Gatorade bottle, making it look like it is indeed hiding behind those lenses. Okay. Um, so now what I want to do is I want to try and match my Gatorade bottle, um, how light and how dark it is. So I'm going to hit use my move tool, select my Gatorade copy layer. I'm gonna go up to image and down to adjustment and over to, oh no, I can't change the exposure, but I need to. So instead of being selected on the layer mask, I have to actually select this first box. And then as I go back up to image and adjustments, now I have all of these options. Whereas before, when I'm on the layer mask, I don't have the exposure vibrance hue, all of these different ones here. So make sure that you are in fact on the layer for the Gatorade bottle. And then with the adjustments, you have full um, editability. You can edit anything you want. So I'm going to click on exposure. And if we go all the way up to the right, it's too bright. All the way down to the left, it's too dark. And so I want to darken it just a little bit. There we go. I like that one. That one looks pretty cool. Um, something cool about this Gatorade bottle um, is that you can actually see through it. So as you move it through different things, you'll notice that the, the light behind it right here is changing. Um, we'll put that back. And as we zoom out, that Gatorade bottle looks like it is actually there. So, messy done. That is how we get our Gatorade bottle 
um, and product placement. You can do this with anything. You can do this with any type of drink. You can do this with any type of candy bar. Anything that you really set your mind to, you can create and you can do this to it. If you have any questions, hit me up and uh, I will be sure to answer them for you. Now I'm just going to show you how to export it in case you have any questions. So you should always save them as a Photoshop document. And then after the Photoshop document is saved, then you can export it. So I saved that, but it saved as image 8068, where in fact, I want to save as, and I'm going to save it to my desktop, to my computer. And I'm going to give it a new name and I'm going to name it uh, Gatorade product. The Photoshop document, I'll save that. And then we're going to export it. Command Alt Option Shift W is the shortcut. It's almost faster just to go up to file and export. I'll click export there. It automatically gives the name that I just saved it as. It's going to my desktop and I will click save. So then pretty soon it's going to show up somewhere here on my desktop. Right there, Gatorade product placement JPEG. And it looks like that Gatorade is there. Cool. Our job here is done.